Yo, yo, what up, Big Hill? Yo, what up, man? How you doing, Big Dog? I'm good, I'm good. It's a Buffalo Bills weekend. Yeah. Man, we about to dig this hole. Yeah. Who going in it? Green Bay Packers. Y'all boys get in that motherfucking hole. Yeah, yeah, what up, baby? This your boy, Big Heen. And this is King Hill. And you are now tuned in to the OG's Perspective Podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what up? How y'all doing out there, man? This weekend, we're going to be uh, talking about, man, the biggest thing on the planet, man. Kanye West, yay, in politics. We're going into a, a voting weekend, um, a very serious, serious weekend of voting about to take place. There's a lot of things on the ballot. Um, if y'all don't do nothing, man, get out there and vote. Um, we got some hot topics. Y'all know I done changed the show up a little bit. Gonna get into the hot topics a little bit later on, but we're gonna jump into the Kanye West, and then we're gonna talk about uh, voting a little bit. You know the importance of voting and what's going on, how it affects us if we don't get out and vote, how it does affect us if we do go out and vote. So man, Hill, let's jump right into this thing, man. Kanye West, uh, he announced <laughs> the apology today. Um, you heard it, I heard it. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of it? Um. I think he got more to uh, apologize for. Okay. Because okay. he said some things in the past, like um, slavery was a choice. Okay. So he he's, uh, as far as the black community go, I think he got a lot more to apologize for than just what he said. Well, he definitely, uh, he, he said, I, I mean, you know what? Listen, man, you know, you, you make a valid point with that one. Um, he definitely said that uh, he was humbled by Adidas publicly making him uh, less than a billionaire, which I, I I don't, how can you lose $11 billion overnight? But that's what he right. said. He said he understand the feeling and the pain that George uh, Floyd went through with uh, the cop putting his knee on his neck. I mean, he says some things. Now, one thing we can't do, Hill, is let Kanye off easily right um the white between the light the white lives matter him saying what he said about george floyd mm -hmm. and you just said uh he said slavery was a choice right. we all know slavery wasn't a choice if you if you pull the most dominant male out front and buck break him like we discussed right shit i don't care that the next person in line that's supposed to take over is going to show fear exactly so Kanye, uh, our platform is open. If you want to come over here and have a, co a conversation with us at the OG's Perspective Podcast, come on over here, dog. We, you know, we ain't going to just put anything out. If it's something that needs to be censored and, and not said, we're going to cut that shit out, dog. That's just the reality. Um, but, man, we our platform open. Bring us a bag, too. We need some money. We're trying to get this <laughs> shit. For real, I'm serious, Hill. Yeah. Bring a bag over here. You still got some goddamn money. We trying to we trying to level up to the next level. So get a bag over here, man. Put some money behind black people. Um, and this is what I say: before we just accept Kanye West, we need to hold him accountable. He needs to take some money and really put five hundred million in the trust fund. Mm. You know, I know he still got a couple of bees left. They ain't just took oh, all yeah. of them. Put five hundred million in the trust fund and, and start letting it build for the black community. So uh, they closed the school. Yeah, which I don't understand why why they would do that here. Yeah, that's that that that's just too much. Like, it's, let the kids learn. Let the kids go to school. You ain't have to close the man school. I totally like that's that's some BS right there. Took the kids out of the tournament. What, the, what took them off the tournament? What do the kids got to do with it? It Nothing. Just, well, all because it's connected to yay. Like, I don't know, man. I, don't, like I said before, like, man, it's it's one thing if you want to hit his pockets. Right. But you want it seem it seems like you not only trying to hurt his pockets, you trying to tear down even more black people by closing his school. That's right. Because those kids is given the opportunity to be put in a position to be amongst the elite of the of the 
pretty much the best players in the um, nation. Right. You know, they playing with LeBron James kids. Right. They wouldn't get those opportunities if they wasn't in that school. Right. So, um, yeah, that that's a that's a hit to the community, bro. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 a method it's a method to their madness, and the method to their madness is the, to me is to keep black people oppressed as much as they can. Um. Yeah, I I I I will I will not uh say anything against what you just said because you're right. Um, let me let me ask you this question, right? Let's just say this because this is what's going to have to happen. Kanye he apologized. Kanye need to make uh some amends with people, right? Mm. I believe Kanye West definitely need to start manufacturing his own product, right? Which I'm pretty sure. He's looking for a manufacturer right now. Right. Not only that, I believe his home state is Georgia. I believe he needed to build a facility right in Georgia and create manufacturing right here in the United States. Yeah. To produce the product. But Kanye's biggest mistake to me was even though he apologized, right? He put down the black community. Then he put down the Jewish community, which he went to war, basically. He caused the war. Right. But you you put us down first, and then you went to war without troops. Right. Yeah, man. I I don't even know why. Because why haven't... It's one... Why didn't they cancel him when he was putting down the black people, the black community, and and, and things that the, the black people... What daddy was saying because, about black people. Because that's a part of the so called agenda to, you just said, to keep us keep oppressed. Us oppressed, right? right? But as soon as he started talking about the Jewish community, it was a problem. Oh, you got to get cut off. It, now. Was, it, was, it was a problem. Um, so I believe Kanye can recover. Russell Simmons definitely said he can recover. Go ahead and make your own product and sell direct right. to consumer, right? So that means the whole black community. I think he was realizing that as powerful as we are with our vote, right? Mm -hmm. Our vote is powerful. Yeah. So was our dollar. Right. We spent 1.6. I just looked at uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins. He said we spend $1.6 trillion every year on, on basically BS. We got all the new iPhones. Right. We buy all the Jordans. Yeah. We buy most of the Yeezys. Yeah. But whatever, whatever is hot, we buy it. We buy it. We set we the trend. It. Right? Uh-huh. We set the trend, so we're going to go out and cop it. Yeah. So I know if we was to get behind you 100%, Kanye, you would not have a problem selling your sneakers. No. That, that would, that would, that's nothing. Yeah, he won't have no problem at all. Because it's going to be, it's people going to buy them. Especially if, uh, if they like them and it's the hot thing. So I, 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 I think he could come back. I think he could recover. It's just we got to hold dude, him accountable, Hill. You got to be, yeah. You you gotta, gotta he got to be held, held accountable. You know, we can. I don't jump on Kanye team twice, and and I was one of the biggest advocates against him burning sneakers, all that shit. Right. You know, I seen. I, I seen, had my I had my finger up at Kanye. Yeah, I seen uh somewhere it said that this one dude. Burnt like four thousand dollars worth of no, it was uh, fifteen. Fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen thousand dollars worth of yays. yays. Yep. Now, uh, y- hey, brother, uh, you should have sold them. Should have. You should have <laughs> <You> <laughs> sold them. Uh, I'm just keeping it a hundred. Um, right. You know what's crazy? This is the crazy part about this whole Kanye West thing, right? Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan said the N word over ninety times. Yep. And they didn't cancel him. Not once. They didn't cancel him. It wasn't even, I don't even think it was a big issue. I think they gave him more money. Yeah, they just, they gave him, yeah. I believe they gave him more money, dog. They did absolutely, pretty much nothing about it. So. But, yeah, go after the Jewish community. All, all hell break loose. I look at it like this, Hill. It's, 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 um, it's a win. For the community, if Kanye West can bounce back from this, right? Because it'll show that you don't need those big brands like Nike 
even though I love Air Force Ones. Yeah. But it, it'll show us as um, entrepreneurs, as producers, as black businessmen, that we can do it without teaming up with with those big brands. Yeah, man. I I say it all the time, man. We got to start. We got to start building within the black community. We got to start building within us. A um, bunch of black people come together, put their money together, and, and pull start it. doing. And like, pull it. We need. Yeah, we need a black Wall Street. We, back. We, we need that. Um, I don't know if you follow this dude, Omi and the Hellcat. I pay attention to him. Omi and the Hellcat got his own sneakers. Mm. He just started his own screen business, uh, printing business, making T-shirts, whatever hoodies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to holler at him. I'm gonna reach out to him because I need I need some um stuff done. Um, so we're gonna see because you know we we got a hot merch pack we just looked at. Right. We'll see if that work out. Um, but it would mean so much because that would say, hey, yo, you don't need us. Right. We don't gotta do this through y'all, and then yeah. that way we can own 100 instead of taking a percentage of what we created right we can give the whole percentage and then we can start taking and giving a percentage back to the community right now see let me tell you this hell because you know we got white friends yeah we probably got some jewish friends we just they just not have announced that they jewish right i got arabic friends too there's some poor white people out here hell. yeah it is that can um benefit from I call it the trickle down effect. Yeah. Because see, what they do is they suppress us to the point where the white people that's already suppressed, they raise them up just a little bit higher than us and they think they not hurting. Right. They hurting too. Yeah. I I know their conversation. I have it with them. Yeah. They hurting just as hard as we is. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So if, 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 if yay, now this is a question I got to, to the fans and to you, Hill, right? To our listeners and to the people that pay attention to our podcast. Let's just say Kanye West pulls this off and he come out. I won't even say victorious. He survived it. Okay. I won't I won't say victorious because he got too much up against him. He survived it. He get through it. He sell the rest of the merchandise that's already out there. He finds somebody to produce and make the merchandise that the new merchandise that's coming. And he's, he go to Paris and do a fashion show. Do you think people, like the big people, ain't talking about us. Mm. Shit, hopefully our bag, by the time that shit happened, we can go over there. Right. But do you think the Jay-Zs, the Beyonce's, uh, the Noriegas, you know, all the hip-hop community and the black actors, the entertainment community as a whole, will go support Kanye. I think some of them will. Um but he would need all of them. Uh because if he could do if if he if he could pull something like that off and bring those caliber of people in one place and uh the kick off the new way of his business That'll show that, like you said, we don't need them. Now he'll have all them people in that in that room. He could be like, "Hey, yo, oh, let's do this together. Yo, uh, Nori, let's do this together." Now it's it's just you got to start start building businesses within each other. I mean, and there's nothing wrong with doing that because. The Jewish community do it. Right. The white community do it. The Arabic community do it. We see what the Arabics do. Yeah. The African community do it. We the only community that's here in the United States that's not together. Yeah. And I think that's a lot of what's going on because Kanye, in reality, he can pull us all together. Right. He, he could do something like that and he could start, if they could start building within each other, then they could be like, yo, it's a small business over here. Let's go get them. They doing something good. Let's pull them in. Well, well, I think I think this. I looked at uh 
Um, I buy sneakers from StockX sometimes. His sneakers ain't dang dip. They still sell. They still yeah. the same price. Yeah. I it, mean, it, they might have dropped a little bit because I seen one pair went from four forty to something, but they still selling. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? They they gonna keep selling because it's, it's people that it's it's still people out there that's um that's supporting Kanye. You know what I'm saying so. Is is I don't think his sneakers will stop selling. Um. It's just a matter of him. He he got to bounce. We got to get find about a way to bounce we, back. We got to get behind. No matter yeah. what, we got to get behind him. Right. I, I mean, the reality is, we got to get behind him. We, yeah. We got to get behind him. Uh, the black community got to get behind him. And pretty much everybody that was buying his sneakers got to stay behind him. Right. The reality is this. Now let me ask you this question, Hill. Because I'm thinking, you know, when sometimes I say the wrong the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. I know th- th- this. I want to say this MF. I want to curse, but I'm not. Fuck it. This motherfucker get me in some <laughs> shit sometime. Right? Uh-huh. Do you think, okay, Kanye done went on his press tour. Do you think Kanye need to take a step back and let uh, um, a publicist of somewhat, somebody that he really trusts that's in his best interest get out front right now and take the questions and answer the questions that's coming in and give the answers that's going out and Kanye need to sit back and focus on business? Or do you think Kanye West need to stay out front and continue what he's doing? Um, yes. Wait, it depends on the question. Because it, it's some questions Kanye West going to have to answer. So, um, in certain instances, yeah, he should step back, get out the way, let somebody let somebody else be the face of it, all the all the media and everything. But um, it's still going. He's still going to have to be out there <clears throat> and uh, answer some que- answer some questions. And I, I like I said, I feel that. He need it's some more stuff he need to apologize for. No, I, I definitely feel that, but I'm talking about okay. He's still out here. My thing is he don't need to put his foot in his mouth no more. Exactly. That you know that's my thing. He don't need to put his foot in his mouth no more because the reality of it is he went after a whole community of people and he probably should have went after one, right? Right. I mean, at the end of the day. The Jewish people gonna do what they do, right? They about right. that bag. They mm-hmm. control the diamonds. The Jewish, the, the, the Jewish people businesses control the diamonds. They pretty much they control the <laughs> porn industry. These things is pretty much factual. They control pretty much everything that goes on in entertainment, right? Right. So what I'm saying is, if he got a spokesperson to speak on his behalf, maybe. They would say things in a way that would be understood but not offensive. Yeah, right. I I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. Now, what do you think about Kim Kardashian? Pretty much, she was asked a question. And her response was, the whole Kardashian family did this. And I, I I really expected Kim... I expected you to say something more down in these guidelines. I do not condone what my husband or my ex-husband said, but he's still the, the father of my children. I'm going to support him. And I'm going to make sure that he still sees his kids and we're going to get through these hard times. Because at the end of the day, you know how it is with kids. When they get old enough, they make decisions, bro. They right. start choosing. Right. Well, as far as the Kardashians go, they doing they they trying to find a way back up on the top of the mountain. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, they doing it for clout. Oh, they bro, want to, they want to get bro, somewhere. Um, I got my first kid's mother. Now I got my wife. I'm not. 
going to say nothing bad about neither one of them. Exactly. Especially I, on especially on a public forum. Yeah. Um, like, <clears throat> she should, should support them. Oh, she should. They've been going through the thing with the kids. The man before this said, went down. the man said, why? And, and, and you know what? It made me think, <laughs> I'm being honest. It made me think when he wore the White Lives Matter shirt, right? Because I didn't understand why would he do that. But at the same token, his kids are mixed right? with, with Kim Kardashian, which is Armenian, which she considers herself white, right? Right. I definitely, I was, I was like, yo, I was confused. But at, after he said it, my wife is white. I had to think about that shit. Yeah. He got a white wife. His kid's mother is white. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I, to him wearing a shirt, it didn't white mean, lives matter, that's it right. didn't mean... It, what we, what, well, how we, we took it. Yeah. We took it offensive. Yeah. We're like, yo, dude, what you doing, man? Blah, blah. You know, Black Lives Matter. But at the same token, he got black and white kids. He, he, right. he got black and white kids. So I understand it now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, uh, when I, when I seen it, I was like, okay. Now it, it gives you, it gives you a different point I, of view. A different point of view, a different perspective, a different outlook. Right. So, to him, the the saying "white lives matter," it matters to him because it does. He, yeah. his kids. This reality, his kids. reality, it matters to all of us. Yeah, it's just it should matter to all. It, of it matters us. to all of us. Just like Black Lives Matter should matter to all of it us. It should. It should. All lives should matter, regardless if you black, or white, white, Puerto Rican, Mexican. Chinese, Japanese, whatever it is, your life, every that all lives matter. They do, and, and they do. Everybody they do. should be treat, treat, uh, treated equally. Hey, let me tell you something, man. This the reality. Until you take racism or racist people out of the conversation or yep. doing racist things. You're always going to have this white and black situation. Yeah. When it's, on a spectrum, you got Mexicans, yeah. you got Asians. Do you know everybody that come to our country is white? Yeah. They white. Yeah. You know, I know they want to change things in the Constitution. They got to change the right things in the Constitution. Yeah. I, I, no, when it boils down to it, when it comes to politicians and stuff like that, I don't, I don't see them changing anything that's going to go good for the black community. That's just me. Or black people, period. That's just me. Um, I feel like we shouldn't have to look to a government that kept us oppressed for over 500 years to do the right thing for us. So, and that, but that's just me. Um. At the end of the day, man, put it like this, Hill. If we're put in a situation where we can truly tend to ourselves, we wouldn't be worried about the government. No, we wouldn't. You wouldn't be worried about the government. Not at all. Allow us, as, as a group of people, to get our things popping. Right. Do that. Just step out the way and let us do what we do. Yeah. I, you know what? Yeah. I truly sit back and think sometimes, where would black people be if the uh, if black Wall Street never got burnt to the Shit, ground? Shit, we'd be the richest people on the fucking planet. That that's what we'd be. We we'd be the richest people on the planet if well, on not on the planet in America. B 
Because when they destroyed Black Wall Street, uh, the economy had took a poop. Mm-hmm. And we were still we were still thriving, we were still prospering, we were still doing what we did. You know, everybody, all the white people in America, listen, go look at the documentary on Black Wall Street. When everything fell apart, black people were still prospering, still elevating, still going to the top. It was out of jealousy that y'all went in there and burnt everything down, destroyed it, and took it. And that's yep. the reality. Yep. They're not, they not telling the true story and the true history of, of, of America when they don't tell that story. A lot of the inventions that, that was uh, put together back in the day was invented by black people. It's just that we couldn't patent it. We wasn't allowed to. But anyway... Of course not. We wasn't. We we couldn't get our patents out back in the days. So a lot of the things that we created and a lot of things that we did, we uh, we wasn't allowed to um. We wasn't allowed to allowed to own them. Right. We just wasn't allowed to own them. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how life goes. Those are the trials and tribulations of life. Right. So, Let's go ahead and transition to uh, politics. Um, before we get dead deep into the politics, Hill. You know I hate politics. We got we got to. I want to talk about Clarence Thomas and his wife, Jeannie Thomas. Now she was a part of the uh, the insurrection. You know that, right? Yeah. Clarence Thomas will go down as the as, as the Worst justice of all time. Yeah. His wife is tied up in it. Um, he should recuse himself. He should just go ahead and resign from the Supreme Court altogether. Yeah. Um, it, even uh, whenever you have a conflict of interest in any, any part of the law, you should remove yourself from it. Mm-hmm. Like if, uh, if they say, for example... I went down. I'm going on trial. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. You you got called for jury duty. I can't do it. They won't. You can't do it. Because, I'm in your favor. Yeah. Even if you're guilty, I'm in your favor. Right. Oh, man. That's my man. I, I, I ain't voting guilty. It, it better be certain shit, though. Yeah. It, 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 it better not be certain, no. Nah, it ain't yeah. going to be no All dumb right. shit. Okay. <laughs> as long as it but, ain't no dumb shit. No. Yeah. I'm in your favor, though. But yeah, so but, so he should recuse himself. He should. He should completely remove himself out. Yo, Clarence situation. Thomas has been a long time since I said this. But shame on you, Clarence Thomas. Get your punk black ass up out the motherfucking <laughs> Supreme Court, nigga. Yeah. Okay. Get up out of there, dog. Get up out of there. We don't. We don't. Get your punk ass up out of there. All right. And that's all I'm gonna try to do for cussing tonight. Get your. Yeah. Now this some shit that got me hot. Uh. You know this is an election year, Hill. Yeah. Uh, like I told y'all, our vote is serious. Okay, we voting for governor. We voting for governors, uh, Senate races. Mm-hmm. I think it's a it's a few of them going on right now. Yeah. Um, some seats. I think it's some seats up up for grabs. Gerardo Rivera. He said that the Democratic Party failed by supporting George Floyd. Huh? That that just goes to show. Fox News got to stop the bullshit. Fox, Fox News. Fox News got to stop the bullshit. Is there? They ain't even accredited, is they? They're entertainment news, ain't they? I don't know what they is, but they. I know they racist to me. Yeah, they racist, man. Shit. I mean everything. I Gerardo, mean, you, you goddamn you used to be a, a crime stopper or something. Yeah. Like what is? I haven't seen that dude facing so long. Yeah, he on Fox. That's where we at. He here on Fox. It's just, I, I hate well, politics. Listen, let me, let me <laughs> no, no, we got to get serious about this politics. Yeah. Because the shit is, uh, the shit is real to me because Ron DeSantos is down there in Florida. He got some, he, he just down there going crazy right now. And you know he want to be the next president. So y'all people down in Florida, y'all got to vote, dog. Yeah. Y'all got to vote. Y'all got to make sure he lose. Because he is a piece of S-H-I-T. 
with a capital S. <laughs> Real Talk Hill. Capital H, capital I, capital T. Shh. Yeah. Yo, you know that's what I was going to call, call the podcast. I ain't even going to say it. <laughs> I'm going to leave that where it's at. Um, Nancy Pelosi, <coughs> her husband, got brutally beat. Yeah. I, I guess it was a uh, home invasion or something. Something like they that. They got in and beat his ass. <laughs> Spanked his boot. Spanked him. I, I wonder why, though. Man, I, I don't know. They, they, I think that they trying to get her up off of they want her out, probably want her up out of office. They anyway. probably do. I, I definitely think it was a message. Yeah. Um, I definitely think it was a message. Definitely think it was a message. But somebody of her caliber, if I was, if I had, if I had that position, wouldn't nobody be able to touch my wife. I know, man. That's wouldn't that's crazy, right? Where was her? Uh, uh, I mean, do her husband Security. have protection? He should. He should have protection because. Okay, he don't got, you know, the governor husband don't got protection. I want some money. No, that ain't no fucking governor. Nancy. I, I mean, you know, the, she the house speaker, bro. Yeah, her. Um, She the house speaker, dog. That's if you, if you know, I think she got the next power to the president. Yeah. If you know that, listen, if, if I'm if a real criminal. And he wants some money. He gonna go get him. Like, yo, Nancy. I want X amount of dollars. What if it was a setup to get his ass killed and he ain't die? Might have been that too. Hey, we ain't saying no crazy shit, Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you wasn't in the house to get your ass beat. So I, I yeah. don't know. But okay, um, we got Kyrie Irving, bro. Kyrie Irving. Um he uh he um posted something today about H to win. H two. It was Hebrews to Negroes. A movie that he watched. I'm I didn't even hear Shit, about I ain't the movie. See it. I, I didn't see, see the it movie. Either. I didn't see it either yet. I'll go watch it, though. I'm going to see what the hell you're talking about. I'm going to watch it, too, Hill. Because it sounds real goddamn good. Yeah, what is it on Netflix or something? I don't know. I got to find it. I got to find it. I'm going to have to find it. Straight H- up. H2, H2N. H2N. It says Hebrews to Negroes. That's what it is. So, let me tell y'all something. At the end of the day, when we realize our position and our power, because we ain't going to kill y'all today. This, this, this podcast today is, is, is serious. You know, we ain't got a lot of topics. Kyrie Irving probably was the only topic I had. Also, real shit. Um, Brittany, I got uh, Brittany Griner uh, put in a pill for Russia and it got denied. Okay, but that's right. the that's the only thing I had when I was looking for the topics. All this Kanye West stuff that's going on is like, what he, do I talk about he, besides he, this? He, he dominate, y'all. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Between Kanye West and the election. Nobody really talking about shit. Um, I hope y'all go check out that Halloween joint we did. That joint fire, man. Yeah. Y'all make sure y'all go talk. Uh, look at go look at all the podcasts we did. Y'all, yo, I ain't gonna lie, man. I know we only thirteen episodes in, but I'm excited about the growth. Shout out to my boy Stacks the God too. Yeah. What um, up, Stacks? I look at it like this. Y'all pay attention to what's going on in America right now. Um, It's either going to be some good times or some bad times that we're about to go into. As far as Kanye West, as far as politics, all I can say is, man, everybody go out and vote. Participate. Participate. Allow yourself 
to exercise your right that whether you black, white, Spanish, Asian, black people died for you to vote. That's the reality. Can't nobody change history. Can't nobody take that back. Black people died for us to vote. It wouldn't even be no LGBTQ community if it wasn't for black people getting out there, getting on the front line, dying to vote. Remember how powerful your vote is. It's very powerful. I don't care, care what community you come from. Your vote means something. Exercise it. I tell y'all all the time, if they allow the power to be in the hand of the people, we could change this world. That means black, white, brown, all the colors come together. We could change this world. We definitely could change America. This is a, this supposedly be the land of the free, opportunity for all. We got some suppressors out there. We got some people out there that's telling us we don't have freedom of speech. We can't spend our money where we want it. We can't spend our time where we want it. We got to change that. And the only way we can change that, what Malcolm say is the ballot or the bullet. And that, that statement alone was taken out of context. I think the bullet is the people. I'm being honest. I think the bullet is the people. You want to talk about no literally, literally a gun? Talking about the people. The people is us in the United States. The diversity of us that creates it. The diversity of us that makes it up. Everybody on the planet want to come here. It's a reason for that. And let's keep that coming. Let's keep that dream that we dream in our heads alive. That America is the place of dreams. The land of free, freedom of speech. I'm going to tell y'all this election is serious, man. They're trying to take that away from us. Some of these people are trying to turn back the hand of time. Let's not allow that to happen. Kanye West, you was the topic tonight. You was the hot topic tonight. Take your time. Sit back. Reflect. Like you said, you was humble. Man, put your good foot forward, bro. Put your good foot forward, bro. Do not allow us. Me and this dude right here, especially me, bro, because I was against you, to jump back on your motherfucking side, homie. I'm sorry for cursing, but I'm real when I say this shit. To jump back on your side. And you do what dogs do when we take them for a walk. You know what that is. Don't do that, homeboy. Because I can guarantee you, you do that again, we'll bury you. You ain't got to worry about the Jewish community burying you. We'll bury you. Big dog, you got something to say? Man, Kanye, man. I'm going to be honest, man. I'm hoping you bounce back. I like you. I like your music. I like your your uh business that you do. I'm saying you're real business minded and everything. So I'm hoping you bounce back. Uh as far as the votes go, you wanna know how important your vote is? Look back when we voted for uh President Barack Obama the first time. That that we came out and showed out. We need to come out and show out come out and show out all the time. So I'm going to be voting, even though I hate politics and some of the stuff that they do. But I'm going to definitely use my vote to make some, uh, to help make a change. And that's all I got. Yo, I like that shit, dog. I like that. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all know how we do it. Y'all go out and vote. I don't care if you're a Republican. If you're a Democrat, if you're an independent, go vote. People die for this shit. Y'all already know how we do, man. OGs out. Deuces. 
Y'all already know, man. Wake up, 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 wake